Just a little uh, pre-ride warm-up. Just testing the saddle height. About to embark on a two-hour spin with the Tinkoff Saxo team only two days before the start of the Tour de France. Are you? Yeah. Are you really bad? Are you? you ready? I said to you yesterday, no, just yesterday, no, before yesterday, uh, the stage two. Oh, the recon yeah. video? Oh, good yeah. stage. We are attacking the last uh, hill. Yeah, a little, a little, <laughs> I will, yeah. yeah, after, after we win here, we all come. Okay. okay. Next year we win here. Okay. Come. Blendon, Oleg, in the new kit. What's all this new kit about? Oh, it's about fluorescent sand color. <laughs> it's another yellow, let's put it this way. So just a one-off special for the Tour de France? Yeah, it's special edition. It's got some Cyrillic on it. It says Tinkoff in Russian. Uh, it must be somewhere Russian flag. I haven't checked it yet myself, just put it on. Plus, we want to be slightly distinguished from the yellow yeah. jersey. We have to respect cycling. Go to the... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, no Spanish flag. Easy ride today. Yeah. Spanish flag in San Gilese. Yeah. Your supporter of Tristan. <laughs> We're going to do around a 50 kilometre ride, taking in parts of stage one in a reverse direction. Good opportunity just to loosen the legs, opportunity to talk to the other riders in the team and for the very first time wear the new fluoro kit. Not quite as fluorescent, I might add, as yellow fluo, but certainly will stand out in the peloton and a bit of a throwback to the 1980s, I reckon. It certainly is quite a unique race. Um, the tour is always a, a level above every other every other race. The the media hype, the you know, the, the contracts decided, the sponsorship agreements uh, decided on this race. The whole world is racing, so it just creates a, you know more stress, more pressure for for the athletes and, and the teams. Nothing too strenuous for the guys today. Just about spinning the legs, keeping the gears low, just trying to relax. Nicholas Rhodes, how do you feel going into the tour, especially with the spotlight on Alberto Contador? Uh, excited, you know, really excited. Uh, I was already super excited to ride for him last year, and uh, you know, showing the recent form that he that he had uh, makes it even more exciting, as we know that we're we're a real challenger, and um, you know, I think it's going to be a super super exciting and super close race at least on the TV side and uh, you know uh, it puts a lot of uh, responsibility on on the team around them too so uh, no I'm, I'm really looking forward to get started how are the legs ah, today is good yeah today is good uh, I hope also in the next uh, three weeks it's good new clothing today yeah good, good around the team it's good for the for the breakaways you can see the guys that are, uh, that are attacking from a yeah, long way with this new yeah, kit yeah, I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. Alberto, how important is, is the, are these little rest days before the tour, just to speak to your teammates, uh, rest the legs, it's, uh, especially for you because the media spotlight is on you, it must be uh, quite stressful. Yeah, no, the, these days it's, it's, it's important no? because uh, the final you will be with the, with the team uh, for the next uh, month. The two days before uh, you have uh, spin the legs only. Because if you start with a long uh, stage, it's different than if you start with a short uh, time trial. That you need that the, the legs more ready. In this moment, uh, okay, the, the, the legs is a little uh, sleeping. Okay, a little bit blocked. But, yeah, yeah, sleeping legs. I like that. <laughs> it's not a problem because you need to uh, recover well before before the start. Yeah, a bit bit of traffic, but a nice. Uh, Nice atmosphere within the team. The sun's come out, which is fantastic. It was raining earlier on. Everybody's looking good in the new kit. Clearly good morale on the team. And Alberto Contador, well, what a charming man. I think we're Rafa Micah. And how are you feeling? You've come into the tour very late. So uh, yeah, it, what's your feeling? Are you, are you nervous or are you very excited about the tour? Yeah, normally I'm a little bit nervous, but still uh, I think so. I have good condition. I, uh, my form is uh, after the Giro is, you know, I'm a little bit re rest and after I start the training and one week's easy and after full gas in the mountain. So today is nice and tranquilo today? Yeah, for sure. Rolling again, bit of a U-turn, off we go. Nicholas riding one of the uh, limited edition McLaren s work specialised frames. Not been seen before, not many of those around. And we'll set you back if you wish to purchase one. 20,000 euros. 
Oh, you know, uh, subscribed and insurance online this morning, <laughs> just to make sure if I crash it by the end of next week, uh, I can afford paying it back. Um, well, first of all, yesterday on the internet, uh, my my uncle sent me the link. I was like, Nico, there's your new bike. So, wow, that's pretty cool. I haven't seen it yet. So uh, it was nice to see it this morning, and uh, it's a great ride. Bit of a steep incline to the hotel, so a little bit out of breath, but generally speaking, that went well. Dried up, the sun even came out. And I think Alberto Contador and the rest of the uh, Tinkoff Saxo crew are ready for a relaxing afternoon. Yeah, I think that went really well. Whew. Lost the words for once, actually, Mike. Right. Top three podium for the Tour de France. Who's it going to be? Contador from Valverde. You heard it here. Contador Froome, Valverde. <laughs> to subscribe to GCM, click on me. Right here. <laughs> Brilliant. Cheers, man. <laughs>